Hi, I'm Lori from Hair by Lori. Today I have a fun hair tutorial for you. I am filming this one in honor of the 4th of July, but I think it would be great year round. It is so cute and fun, a little edgy. It is for this Dutch mohawk ponytail with the cute shooting star accent. So if you like this hairstyle and would love to see more tutorials from me, I hope that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. Let's get started on how to do this. Begin by sectioning off the hair on the top of your head. Temporarily secure the rest of your hair out of the way. Now take that top section and pick up the hair at the very front of it. Divide that into three pieces. Take the left piece and move it under the middle, then move the right piece under the middle. On the left, pick up a small section of hair to add into the braid, then move that left piece under the middle. On the right again, Pick up a small section of hair, add that in, and move it under the middle strand. Continue with this process, adding in hair to the outer pieces and moving them under the middle strand. Once you run out of hair to add in, hold the braid in one hand. With your other hand, Gently pinch and pull the edges of your braid to make it look more full. I like to start by doing one side of the braid and then the other. When you're done, secure your braid with an elastic. If you'd like, you can spray the braid with hairspray and go back and pull on the edges some more until it is to your liking. Let down the remainder of your hair, smooth it out, and pull all of your hair along with the end of your braid up into a high ponytail. Take a small piece of hair from the bottom of your ponytail, wrap it around your elastic, and then pin it in place. Now take one of your bobby pins and begin your star on the side of your head, close to your face. I start with the top point, interlocking two bobby pins at the top. Next, I slide a bobby pin across those two, like I'm making the letter A. I interlock another bobby pin with that pin and bring it down at an angle to end at the bottom point. Each time you add a pin, you will need to gently push on the pins and adjust them to make sure you are keeping your points. Finally, I slide the last pin in to complete the star. This gives you a cute look and you could stop here or you can continue on to add a few more accent bobby pins. Just behind where the star lies, I add a bobby pin in at an angle. Then, I interlock another bobby pin with that, forming about a 45 degree angle. This can be tricky to get it to lie right, so grab a mirror and adjust each pin as you go. Add two more bobby pins at angles just behind that to complete your look. I think it gives it almost a shooting star effect. Here's your final look. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope that you love this hairstyle as much as I do and are gonna give it a try. I would love to hear what your 4th of July plans are. So leave me a comment down below and let me know where you would be wearing this hairstyle. And if you guys like this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.